So many will argue that politics is prestigious and for many leaders the sky is always the limit in the sense that the higher you climb the more powerful you become. However, that is not the case with one member of parliament. A sitting senator has declared that she will be contesting for a ward representative position during the 2017 general election. Yet, yes, that is from the Senate uh, to the county assembly. So why that decision? Well, here's our political affairs reporter Duncan Hayamba with that report of Senator Godliva Omo. Meet 44-year-old Senator Godliva Nanjira Omondi who has opted to take a route not any politician would envisage, that of contesting a seat lower than their current office. I'm coming from the, um, the Senate to go to the County Assembly as an, a member of County Assembly, that is an MCA. Omondi says her decision has been largely informed by the numerous challenges she continues to face in her quest to effectively serve Kenyans at the grassroots level despite the money, power and influence that comes with her current position. I want to be where resources are. I account what I have been, what I have done with the resources that have been given. That is the reason that made me to come down to make a decision that I should come down. I don't want titles. I don't want big salary. The ODM nominated senator, who is also the national chair for persons living with disabilities, will be vying for the Holera ward seat in Matungu constituency, Kakamega County, and discloses that majority of senators will be switching to either runners, governors, or members of the National Assembly, reason being challenges that are in that house. The Senate is like is a, at the mercy of somebody. And that mercy, somebody that the Senate is at the mercy is the National Assembly. You see, even facilitate, even budget allocation, it's the National Assembly to decide. They can decide to give you or not to give you. God live or Mondi is a fighter. In 2013, she moved to court to fight and have her current position after being initially shortchanged on the nomination list presented to IEBC, a legal battle that lasted for six months until October 2013 when she was sworn in as senator. Lucky enough, I had made the copy, I had printed out the first gazette notice that showed I was number one. Because after being told that you have been shortchanged, when I went to, I, I went to the website, IBC website, I, I find that I was now number two. They have posted now a new, a new list. And as they say, once beaten, twice shy, Omondi is already firing warning shots. I know there are strategies to shortchange me at the last minute. And I just want to tell them, dare you. Dare you play with my votes. She says her conscience is clear. So is her mission and vision as she embarks on a journey to plunge into elective politics. Dan Kanhemba, KTN News.